Hello, this is Dr. Armon again, bringing you another exciting General Chemistry One Laboratories lecture. Today, or in this lecture, we will be showing you how to use vlab.exe, the virtual lab that you'll be using to complete the Excel lab assignment. Now, one important thing before you watch this video is make sure you install the vlab uh, program correctly. And one of the key things is to make sure that your JavaScript is uh, updated, most recently updated. Now if you notice that the vlab.exe is not loading up, the, the best recommendation I can give you is to contact the Tech Cafe support and they'll be able to assist you in getting the program working. They've been helping me for many semesters and are fairly uh, familiar with the issues that involve this program. So once you get the program open, and it's working, watch this video, and I'll kind of go through how you use the different glasswares and how do you make solutions, measure densities, to give you an idea of how you navigate the software. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So what we're looking at here is the vlab.exe program. So all I've done is open it up. Now to find the right uh, set of solutions, you go to File, Load Homework, go to Molarity and Density, let me double click, and Dilution Problem 2. So now you see we have water, we have stock solutions, and then a pr pr problem description. Now the problem description you don't have to worry about because this is kind of a freelance uh, lab, so we're just using the platform to do the lab. And the tutorial uses 14.8 molar ammonia. So the tutorial again goes through the entire Excel lab using 14.8 molar ammonia. Now in the lab Excel lab assignment, you'll be doing the exact same thing, but you'll be using 17.8 molar sulfuric acid. So again, in the tutorial, we run through it using 14.8 molar uh, ammonia, but in the Excel lab, one of the questions, you gotta use 17.8 molar sulfuric acid. So all you do is you double click, and it puts a jug of 14.8 molar sulfuric acid. And so what we wanna do is we want to prepare, prepare a 50% solution of ammonia, starting with a full 100%. So this bucket here is like 100% ammonia. So what we can do is we can actually rename it if you want. You right click, rename, and we can say 100% ammonia. Now what we want to do is prepare a 50% ammonia solution. So how do we do that? We need a few pieces of glassware in order to do this. So we, first off, we need a beaker. So you just go to this, let me do it a little bit slower. You go to this icon here where it has different types of glassware. You click on it, a drop down menu. You go to beakers. We need a 250 mil beaker. Then we go to graduated cylinders. We're going to need a 50 mil graduated cylinder. And you can click it and drag it. We're going to need a 5 mil pipette. And I'll show you when we use this a little bit later. We're going to need a 100 mil volumetric flask. <coughs> Excuse me. And then lastly, we're going to need a scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a 50% ammonia solution. And then we're going to determine, determine density of a 50% solution. So first we're going to make the 50% solution. Then we're going to determine the density of the 50% solution. So what we need to do first is we need to go up to tools 
go to uh, transfer bar and we want to select realistic transfer so again you go to tools transfer bar select realistic transfer for us so the first thing we want to do is pour some ammonia into the beaker so you do it like this now you come down to the pour button and you pour and notice that you can pour quite a bit up to two liters of ammonia see we just want to pour a little bit and so we added hold on a second so first off in the in the in the jug we still have about 1775 milliliters but if you click on the beaker in the beaker we added 224.805 uh, milliliters that's fine we just need some and we're going to add this to a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and the reason we need 50 milliliters is because if we're making 100 mils of a 50 percent solution so we're going to make 100 milliliters of a 50 percent solution uh, we're going to need need 50 milliliters of the 100 percent solution and again if you use that c1 or civi equals cfvf you'll see that it comes out to 50 milliliters so we need to use the graduated cylinder to measure out 50 milliliters of the 100 percent solution and then we're going to pour it into the 100 milliliter volumetric flask so if we set this up we got a hundred percent times 50 or excuse me times uh, vi equals 50 percent times 100 and you'll notice here that vi equals 50 milliliters that's where the 50 milliliters comes from so we need to pour 50 milliliters into the 50 mil graduated cylinder and this is a little tricky this takes again this takes practice it looks easy because i've been practicing but with you when you're doing it it may be a little bit you know it may need a little practice before you get to it so so what you do is you click on the beaker you bring it drag it towards the graduated cylinder when you see this green arrow or green plus sign you click now you're ready to pour your solution so you see here you have the graduated cylinder uh, kind of zoomed in and you got to click the pour button but be careful don't hold it for too long then you'll put too much uh, solution into the graduated cylinder so this is a 50 mil graduated cylinder you want to try to pour as close to 50 as you can and then you're going to add the rest using the five milliliter pipette so watch as i hit pour the bar increases boom you see that you have to let go it does it really fast because the beaker is a very imprecise tool so now we'll move the beaker away and if we click on the 50 mil graduated cylinder you see that we have 45.9 milliliters up here in the top right corner 45.9 milliliters in the 50 mil graduated cylinder well, we need to get 50 we have 45.9 so now we're going to use a more accurate tool which is a five milliliter pipette again you dr drag the pipette to where it's close to the beaker you see this plus sign green plus sign up here you let go and now you can withdraw so you click on withdraw up to five milliliters of solution so that's what i'm gonna do you're gonna hold it now you notice it's a little bit slower than the beaker and then boom it's okay you want a little bit uh over because we're not using it we're just using it to transfer excuse me we're not using it to measure really we're using it to transfer liquid into the graduated cylinder now you drag it over here you see the green plus sign boom now you're ready to add the solution now we want to get 50 so let's see if we can do it you just quickly hit the button see it increased a little bit you can watch up here in the top right hand corner as well so you hold it hold it hold it hold it and then you let go you want to get 50. now if you go over a little bit in this case you can take the pipette and withdraw some of it back out but only when you're adding the 50 percent in this when you add it to the volumetric flask it's a different story 
So now we have 47.63. So again, hold the pour button for a little bit. Boom. We're at 48.3. It's kind of like the lottery. It's kind of like, not lottery, it's kind of like blackjack you're playing here. You, you want to hit right on the money. So again, as you get closer, you want to have short pours. You want to do shorter, faster, short ones and fast. So we'll hold it a little bit longer. Boom. We're at 48.76. A little longer. Boom. 49.199. So now what you want to do is you're kind of nervous now. You don't want to go over 50. If you just click pour quickly, it adds like 0 0.02 milliliters at a time. So you just click and you see it's increasing. You just quickly press it. It does short bursts of solution. And then when you get close to 50, there. So that's about as precise as you can get in the 50 mil graduated cylinder. We transferred. 50.006 milliliters. So now we're finished with the pipette. We move it over here. And now we're going to pour the 50%, or excuse me, the 100, the 50 milliliters of 100% solution into the Erlenmeyer flask. And we're going to pour all of it. So you can just pour it until you get up to 50 milliliters. And notice how slow it takes because again, a graduated cylinder is a, uh, you know, fairly accurate measuring device. Now you want to make sure that when you click on the graduated cylinder it shows zero milliliters left because we got to pour all of that into the volumetric flask. So now we're finished with the graduated cylinder, we're finished with the pipette, we're finished with the beaker. What you can do is you can right click and click remove so it gets rid of it. Kind of clean your workbench. Remove. Remove. So now we have this, but we're not finished. We've got to make a 50% solution. We have 50 milliliters of 100% solution. Now the rest of it, we have to add water. So we click on this H2O tank over here on the left side. Oops, too many. That's okay. We'll just remove one. Remove. And now we've got to add water to the volumetric flask. And you want to add enough water to the calibration mark here. If you go over at this step, you have to completely start over again. So you want to make sure you're very accurate to get right at that calibration mark. And the way you know you have your calibration mark is that the volume here would be 100 milliliters up here in the top right hand. So again, if you go over 100 milliliters, even just a little bit, you have to start over again because it has to be precise. So what I recommend is we're going to need a few extra tools. We're going to need a beaker, so 250 mil beaker, bada bing, right there. We're going to put some water in this, so you bring the water jug, boom. We're going to pour, we don't need much water, like maybe 75 mils. How much do we have? 72. We'll do a little, ah, that's plenty. So you just need more than 50 milliliters of water in the beaker. Now we're going to get, we're going to drag, and we're going to pour some into the beaker. Now. Very careful. You want to do short bursts of pouring, you're not, not too long because then you're going to overfill. So again, we need 50 milliliters. So as long as the uh, bar doesn't go above 50, you're in good shape. So we hold the pour button as close to 50 as we can. Oof, I'm sweating here. So we've got to 91.269. Now that's as close as you're going to get using a beaker. So don't try your luck because again, you know, if, if you go over that 100 mil mark, you got to start over. So what are we going to do? So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to get a pipette, five milliliter pipette. Bada bing. We're going to bring it here. And we're going to withdraw five milliliters of solution. Now this is a little bit tedious, but you want to be accurate so you don't run over. So we're going to move it back to the volumetric flask. And now we're going to pour, since we're at 91.269 milliliters, we can discharge the entire five milliliters here. So we do pour. And we're at 96.513. We go back to the beaker. We withdraw some more solutions, more water, excuse me, more water. And now we're going to go back to the volumetric flask. And again, we're at 96.513. So we don't want to discharge the entire five milliliters, we want to do like three mils, 97. 
you want to do short bursts because if you do short, you're more, you're less likely to overrun the calibration mark. And again, if you overrun it even the tiniest bit, you have to start over. So then when you get close, just do short bursts. And you see it increments by 0 0.02 each time. Short burst. And so this is okay. This is about as precise as you can get, 100.018. That's good. You're right on the money. Good shape. So now we're finished with the pipette. Let's remove that. We're finished with the beaker. We can remove that. Now we're going to relabel this a 50% ammonia solution. And now in the instructions, what you'll do is you'll take the 50% and you're going to prepare a 25% and a 10% from the 50%. And then the second part is taking the 25% and making a 12.5 and 5%. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you how to make a 10%. Everything else is pretty much the same way because I don't, I don't want to make this video like two hours. You know, you'll be kind of falling asleep by the end. So, but before we do that, we need to calculate the density of this solution. So this is our 50% solution. We'll move the water up here. Now to do this, we're going to need a beaker. We get a 250 mil beaker. We move it down here, and we're also going to need a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. We got that. And of course, we're going to need a pipette. Pipettes are always good because they're very precise uh, measuring devices. So the first thing you want to do is take the beaker, put it on the balance. So you see now we have the mass of the beaker. We hit tear. That's good, it's zeroed out. Next, take the graduated cylinder, and we're going to add 10, we're gonna measure out 10 milliliters of the 50% solution. So you pour it gently, quick burst. Now when you get to nine milliliters, it's very, it's strongly recommended now to finish it using a pipette. So we're gonna take this five mil pipette, and withdraw. We come over here and we're going to fill it up to 10 milliliters. Now we're going to do short bursts because it's a small amount we need to add. Short bursts means it goes small amounts. Might take a little longer, but you're going to be more accurate. So you're going to record this volume in the top right hand corner. So record the volume. It's going to be 10.006. So that's the volume of solution. We're going to move away the pipette. And now we're going to pour the 10 milliliters into the graduated, or excuse me, into the beaker. So we're going to pour it, all of it. So make sure you get all of it. Now we're going to add it to the balance. And you see that the Mass is of just the solution is 11.313415. So, mass of solution 11.3415 grams. The volume, of course, is in milliliters. So, the density equals mass over volume. Sorry.
And so when you take the mass divided by the volume, you get 1.1333 1 and you should write it out to the correct number of significant figures so we have five is our fewest number of sig figs so this should be 1.1335 1 1.1335 grams per milliliter and that's the density of a 50% solution and then from the 50% solution, you got to do the calculations to prepare a 25% and prepare a 10%. And then once you prepare those, you'll measure the density of each of those. And then with the 25%, you'll make a 12.5% and a 5%. And it's very important that you do it in this order. So just to show you, to get you more familiar with the process, we're going to take a 50% and we're gonna make a 10% solution. So let me do some cleaning up here. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this and the beaker. And then we can tear the balance again, uh, clear all drawings. We don't need the 100% anymore. We can remove that. We will need the water, so we'll keep that. Now, what I recommend is when you make these solutions, do not discard any of the solutions until you get all your data. Because let's say you make a 10% solution, you do it and you say, hey, this density doesn't look right, or you mess up. And if you discarded your 50% solution, you gotta start all the way back to 50%. So very important to kind of use, kind of keep all your solutions until you finish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a 10% solution just for practice. But in the tutorial, it's a very more detailed and it shows you how to do all the solutions. So here we're going to prepare ten percent ammonia solution from fifty percent ammonia solution. So we're going to use the 50% ammonia solution to make a 10% ammonia solution. So again, we'll use our CIVI equals CFVF. So CI, excuse me, is 50%. VI is our unknown. CF is 10% and VF 100%. All right, now we set up the equation. So 50% times VI equals 10% times 100. And this tells us that VI is 20 milliliters. So what this means is that we need 20 milliliters of the 50% solution added to another volumetric flask and then fill the rest up with water. We're going to have our 10% solution. I'll give you a second, kind of look at these calculations and then we'll move on. So again, you do the same thing for the 25%, and then after you make the 25% determine its density, you would then go and make from the 25%, you would make a 12.5 and a 5% and 25%. So. Now, so we're gonna need a few items before we do this. So we have our 50% solution. We have our water. We're going to need a beaker again. We're going to need a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. 
we're going to need a five milliliter pipette and we're going to need a 100 mil volumetric flask and I'm going to label this one 10% ammonia solution alrighty so now what we want to do is we want to measure out 20 milliliters of ammonia so we take it here we drag it to the graduated cylinder and we pour so we only want 20 so now we're getting close to 20 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this off I'm going to take the pipette bring the pipette near the volumetric flask and withdraw 5 milliliters of the 50% solution Oops, I went a little bit over. Let me pour some out. All righty. Now we bring it over here and we want to get right at 20 milliliters. This is where you got to be careful adding the solution. So right now we're at 17.556. So we pour. We'll just do a quick burst, you know, quick taps on the pour to get to 20. Now, if you go over at this part, you can withdraw back out to get back down to 20 on this part only. So we're at 20.0, and this is about as precise as it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 5 mil pipette back to the 50% 50, 50 ammonia solution. I'm just going to pour the rest back into the volumetric 50%. So we got to conserve our solution. We're finished with this pipette, so we can remove it. And we're finished with the 50% solution. We can move that back up here. And now we're going to pour this 20 milliliters into the 10% volumetric flask. And we can pour all of it. All right. So now we're finished with the graduated cylinder. We can remove that. Now what we need to do is we need to fill the rest of it with water to the calibration mark. So we're going to add some water to this beaker. Again, we're going to need about 80 mils roughly. So we want at least a little bit over 80 mils in the beaker. So we've got 121. That's fine. And we're going to need another 5 milliliter pipette. Bada bing, right there. All right, so this is the careful part. We bring the beaker to the volumetric flask and we're going to pour. So, since we need about roughly 80 milliliters, we can pour up to the 50 mark and we'll be okay. Ooh, went a little bit over. It's fast with the beaker. You got to be careful. So, we're at 77.80.801, 89. So at this point, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to move the beaker away, and I'm going to bring the 5 milliliter pipette in to finish the job. So we're, we're going to withdraw up 5 milliliters. Boom. And since we're at 89.635, we can discharge all of this into the, the flask and be okay. Now we're at 94.837. Again, go back to the beaker, withdraw more uh, solution. We can again get another five milliliters because we're only at 94. We move it back here and we can pour the entire amount because we're at 94.837. We have about five mils. We should be okay. Nine, 98.932. 99.812. So now we need to be careful. We can't go over. So we go back to the, the beaker, withdraw some more. But here we have to be very, very careful. So we just do short burst. Goes in 0.02 increments. Boom. Now we're good. Let's back it off. And now we have our 10% ammonia solution. Whew. 
again, this takes practice. So you, you, on that part, you can't overshoot. If you overshoot, you got to start over again. So let's remove the pipette. Let's remove the beaker. We're finished with the water. Now what we need to do is measure the density of a 10% solution. So we remember that the 50% solution was 1.1335. A 10% solution should be less than that. If you calculate your 10% solution to be more than 1.1335, which was the ammonia, then you did something wrong. So we're going to need a few pieces of glassware. We're going to need a beaker. We're going to need a graduated cylinder, 10 mils. And we're going to need our trusty 5 milliliter pipette. So we want to measure out 10 milliliters of the ammonia solution. And it's okay, I went a little bit over, but when you're measuring the density, it doesn't matter. So what we can do is we take the pipette and we would draw until we get below 10 mil, right at, excuse me, right at 10 milliliters. And again, this is okay when you're doing the density part because we already have our solution made. If we go a little bit over, no problem, we can withdraw some out to get right at the 10 mil mark. And so you wanna record your volume. So let's move the beaker away. Or excuse me, the pipette, my bad. So the volume is 10.013. Make sure you get all the significant figures. Now what we gotta do next is tear out the beaker. So we take our empty beaker, we put it on the balance. It gives you the mass of the balance, excuse me, mass of the beaker. You click tear and now it's zeroed out. Now take the beaker off the balance, take your graduated cylinder, add the entire contents into the beaker. Now to make sure the graduated cylinder is empty, it should say 0, 0.0 right here. Now we take the beaker back to the balance. We see that we get a mass of 10.2808. And this is the mass of solution. So mass of solution, 10.2808, I believe and that's in grams. Now we have the mass, we have the volume, we can calculate density. 10.2808, oh, let me just do it, 10.2808 divided by 10.013, 1.0267. And again, we're going to need five significant figures because volume's in five, mass is in six. So our answer should have five, and this is grams per milliliter. And that's the density of a 10% solution. And again, it makes sense because the density of the 10% solution is less than the 50%. And again, this lecture was just kind of a tutorial on how you navigate the virtual labs. Again, with the 50%, with 50% ammonia solution, you're gonna make a 25% and 10% ammonia solution, and with the 25%, you're going to make a 12.5% and 10% ammonia solutions. So hopefully this lecture was beneficial. You've seen how to navigate the virtual lab. Again, with the pouring, make sure you set tools. Um, again, tools. Oops, not that. Tools, transfer bar, set it to realistic. And you just got to practice with the pouring. So again, when you're making your solution, when you're adding the, say, for example, 100% solution to the volumetric flask and adding water, 
make sure that you don't go over that mark because that's important. So this is, again, the ammonia solution is what's in the tutorial. For the homework question, you'll be doing the 17.8 sulfuric acid solution. So that's all I have for the lecture for this session. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned something new or you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button at the bottom. It's always happy to see that people like uh, this material. So that's all I have for this session. Uh, this is uh, until next time. This is Dr. Armand signing off.